Hey, this is Gerald Rogers, founder of the Legendary Tribe. Our purpose at Legendary is to create experiences to help you become the most powerful version of you. Today, we're going to be talking about one of the founding principles of Legendary, and that's unreasonable happiness. I really love this principle because this is a principle where we get to exercise our gratitude muscle. One of the most important things we ever seek for is happiness. You know, and so many times people are seeking outside of them to find that happiness. They think that somehow buying that new toy or getting that new outfit or, you know, um, getting that fancy car, or living in that nicer house or having more money is going to be the gateway for them to experience happiness. And I don't want to make those things wrong because they're nice. We deserve to have all of those things in our legendary life. But if we're always looking outside of us for that happiness to come, then we'll always have reasons why we can't have it. And we always become powerless to our external circumstances. And let's face, when our expectations for happiness don't match up with our reality, then it creates pain or frustration or fear or depression or all these other unwanted emotions. Those emotions happen because we have unmet expectations. And so this principle of unreasonable happiness is tied to this phrase we call emotional sovereignty. And I want you to think about these words, emotional sovereignty. What does it mean to be completely sovereign in your emotions, to have complete ownership of your emotions? Emotional sovereignty is when we stop looking for excuses and creating reasons for why we can't have what we want or can't feel what we want right now. And there's power in this concept of unreasonable happiness. And I want you to think about this. Like, I promise every one of us, every person on the planet has reasons to be unhappy if they chose, right? Could be someone disappointed them or something didn't work out or things have happened in the past that made you upset or you were hurt or you were violated or whatever. Like we all have reasons that we could choose to be upset, but there's no peace in that. There's no power in that. The power comes from reclaiming emotional sovereignty and recognizing that we have the power to create something different. And I feel like one of the greatest examples of this is Viktor Frankl. You've probably heard his story, maybe even read the book, Man's Search for Happiness. But in this, I want you to imagine, I want you to imagine what it would be like to be a Jew back in the time of World War II, to be taken from your home and having all of your belongings stolen, having your family ripped away, and knowing that those family were murdered or killed, being thrust into a concentration camp where you lose everything, all of your clothes, all of your belongings, and you force to be a slave in the most adverse and most miserable experiences possible. How is it possible to emerge from that in a space of gratitude? You know, um, the reality is Viktor Frankl could have spent his entire life being angry about what happened. He had every reason to be upset, but he chose to focus on this aspect of finding purpose and choosing to claim emotional sovereignty where he knew that people could do things to him, but no one could take away his right to be happy, his right to feel what he wanted to feel, the last of the human freedoms he talks about. And when we think of stories like that, or these people that go through extreme situations, sometimes it's hilarious that we get stuck in our own fears and pains and get upset because our show got canceled or because we got an unexpected bill in the mail or because, you know, someone said something we didn't want or because, you know, the, the toilet stopped working or whatever, right? The ridiculous things we allow ourselves to get upset about. But this is an invitation. What the tribe is all about, what Legendary is all about is helping you reclaim emotional sovereignty so that you can have what you want. And so part of the practice is this, looking for reasons to find magic moments seeking out opportunities to experience gratitude and choosing to create that. Forgiving when you need to forgive and letting go of those things that don't serve and focusing all of your energy on what's right rather than what's wrong. And so the practice I'm gonna invite you to lean into is the practice of finding joy in the simple things, right? Like um, a simple thing like a pine cone, right? If you can find joy in a pine cone, you become one of the wealthiest people in the world, right? Because pine cones and, and you can look at the, the, the beauty and the symmetry and the wonder of this. 
like there is infinite possibilities for joy in just observing and being present with a pine cone or with a blade of grass or with a flower or with a tree or with a sunset or with the smile of the person that you're talking to. Unreasonable happiness really is about reclaiming the space of emotional sovereignty and realizing you don't need anything outside of you to be happy. You just need to choose. So make that choice, become unreasonably happy and watch how this unfolds and helps you create your magical and legendary life. This is Gerald Rogers reminding you again, this is your life, so make it legendary.